So October 7th is Vladimir Putin's birthday, and unless you're a Ukrainian Nazi or a Russophobe, of course you're celebrating it. Well, of course, that's how it'll come across in Russian media. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Darren Gertis. I'm a professor who has been trying to help provide context in the war in Ukraine. I have 837 videos at this point where I'm trying to help you engage in some critical thinking as you are thinking about the context of what's going on in the war of Ukraine. So here, for example, there is there is this really proof that the Ukraine are Nazis because there is a symbol that may have been in a Nazi battalion, even though that same symbol was something that was the symbol of Lviv and the symbol of um, Rus. <laughs> so uh, those kind of things. Hear about homegrown weapons or about fact-checking about the 10,000 Ukrainians that have supposedly surrendered or what's happening in American politics relative to Ukraine. Or each week I do a weekly recap and then I also do questions and answers. If you're not familiar with me, just after you watch this video, if you like what you heard, please consider subscribing. Now this video is a little bit different than some of the other videos because it's a little lighter, a little kind of funny. So for Vladimir Putin's birthday, a prankster tricks Russian schools into sending Putin birthday greetings featuring a Ukrainian nationalist. So I don't read Russian, so I had to have this translated, and I'll show you the translation at the end. But here's the, the text, and this is a symbol of uh, the United Russian Party, and here is what's supposed to be a picture of Putin, or that's what they were told. This guy doesn't look a lot like young Putin. This is young Putin, and this is the picture on here. Again, young Putin, and the picture on here. But apparently, the school administrators just saluted and did what they were told. So several Russian schools were tricked into sending birthday greetings to Vladimir. Vladimir Putin bearing a photograph and quotes of a World War II era Ukrainian partisan leader who has been vilified by the Kremlin. Spearheaded by Velasislav Bokman, an exiled Belarusian activist who has staged sem several similar pranks aimed at opposing Russia's invasion of Ukraine and highlighting contradictions and hypocrisy in government. He contacted the schools in Kaluga region southwest of Moscow, posed as a lawmaker from United Russia. Now, this is important because he said he was from United Russia. What do we know about United Russia? It's not like Republicans or Democrats where you have many choices or a parliamentary system in most of Europe where you have plenty of choices. United Russia is the leading party in Russia. As the largest party in the Russian Federation, it holds 325, 72.22% of the 450 seats in the state Duma. That's a pretty significant thing. It's basically the only party that matters in Russia. It was also founded by Sergei Shogu, among a couple others, and the chairman is Dmitry Medyev. So Sergei Shogu founded it and Medyev runs it. So when the United Russia calls, they don't hang up the phone. Okay, he contacted schools in the Kaluga region southwest of Moscow, posing as a lawmaker from United Russia. He said he ordered teachers to draft their students into writing birthday greetings for Putin, who will turn 71 on October 7th. Bokin sent the teachers a black and white photograph of what he said was Putin. Again, this is what Putin looks like, and what he looks like is something very, very different, like that. Okay, so the teachers then had their students compose and print out the congratulations and post the photographs of their effort on the Russian social media site, VK, and send them to Boken. Teachers failed to notice that the portrait of Boken that Boken sent was of Stefan Bandera. Stefan Bandera was a Ukraine freedom fighter who uh, is vilified by the Kremlin, as they said, for being a Nazi. Well, he worked with the Nazis trying to secure Ukrainian independence. Russia, meanwhile, has long vilified Bandera, labeling the Nazi due to his group's, uh, his group's action alongside, and in some cases, coordination with Nazi forces during World War II. The Kremlin frequently uses the term Banderites as a derogatory term to describe Ukrainian nationalists. You can be a Russian nationalist, and that's fine, but if you're a Ukrainian nationalist, that's bad. The prank wasn't the first masterminded by Bokin. He did a, did a few others, but the others included things like uh, <laughs> another action that Bokin pulled off was tricking school teachers in a Moscow region town to participate in a municipal cleanup day carrying slogans used by Nazis at concentration camps. 
<laughs> okay? But apparently they're just following orders because, again, he doesn't look like young Vladimir Putin. So what was on this card? How do we translate it? So I don't speak Russian, so I went to Google Translate, and here's what it looks like. It's a quote by Bandera. Our goal is the coexistence of free peoples and peaceful relations between their independent states, regardless of their differences in their social and political systems. With the United Russia symbol down here, and it's always it says over here in the corner, our president is, is always young. Our president is always with us. Our victory is ahead. Okay, so the question remains, what are you going to do for President Putin's birthday? Last year, what Ukrainians did was a day late. They hit the Kerch Bridge on October 8th. It was a day late, but the pyrotechnics were spectacular. All right, that's it. If you liked what you heard, please consider liking, sharing, or subscribing. Thank you for the likes, shares, and the uh, coffees. I really appreciate that you're willing to listen to this and hear me even to the end of this video. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow.